My name's James Crossing. We're here at Angalong Vineyard. Uh, Angalong is our family property that we run a wine grape vineyard and also a cattle grazing operation. Uh, we're in the orange wine region. We're the lower end of the region at 600 metres. Um, we have been growing grapes for over 20 years and growing cattle for over 50 years. Uh, we've been involved in the Farms of the Future pilot project for a bit over 12 months now. Um, we've had technology installed over that, over that 12 month period and we're starting to collate the data that's coming in from all the, the technology that's been installed. So in the vineyard we've got some in-crop sensors, so we've got um, moisture probes, some various instruments for measuring the, um, the growth rates of the vines. Uh, we've also got some weather stations which help with the vineyard management and also yeah, just our weather forecasting in general for both enterprises which will help our management for the cattle operation as well. Um, for our grazing operation we've got some sensors for measuring our tank levels in our various water tanks that, su that supply our stock water. Um, that also involves some flow meters running to troughs that way we can monitor the, um, the water supply to the mobs of cattle in those respective paddocks. Um, we've also got a Wi-Fi network which gives us uh, Wi-Fi coverage to all our important infrastructure. So that's in particular to our river pumps and to our, our two pump sheds and then back to the office and then to a couple of the main, the main houses on the place where we run our offices from. So having that network across the whole property uh, lets us have good connectivity to the internet and also improves our phone coverage and then we have a, a, um, a local intranet around the, around the property that we can all log into. Um, we also have a remote cattle weighing instrument that we put out, out with the cattle in the paddock, that way um, we haven't got to bring cattle in to weigh them, that just gives us a representative weight of the mob of cattle. The weather stations and the various sensors in the vineyard and some of the the um, water the water monitoring systems work on um, on a connectivity platform called LoRaWAN, uh, and there's also uh, a couple of the, the um, tank monitors are on on the 3G, 4G, 5G network, whatever's whatever's running, and also um, there's a couple of them on satellite as well. Uh, the benefits we've seen so far in the smart ag. Uh, equipment we've got on farm would be labour saving in the first instance. As you can see it's, it's a 4k drive to get down to the river so it's um, quite an ordeal to get down there. Yeah, it's very steep so you've got to do it in a full drive and um, if we're getting some wet weather and that's a bit difficult too because it's not not really a all weather road. Monitoring, monitoring water levels and stock water um, has been a, a pretty good labour saving at this point in time. Because it hasn't been running for very long, we're not getting the, the full benefit of all the, the data coming from the vineyard yet. Uh, that will that'll come into the fore during the growing season. Yeah, as far as recommending this to other producers, I'd say yes, there's, uh, we're seeing some, some definite benefits. Uh, obviously labour saving would be the first one, and then hopefully we'll be able to make some better management decisions as we, as we collect more data as we go through the growing season. Yeah, most farmers these days rely on, on, on their mobile phone and their internet coverage, so having this, this Wi-Fi network across the property is proving valuable for us, so I would recommend that to other people if, if you've got any issues with your, connect, with your connectivity. Uh, this technology will definitely help. Early days in the project to make a judgement on return on investment, but I think, um, I think the water monitoring is probably at this stage proving to be the, the best return on investment, just purely on a labour saving area. I mean we haven't we haven't actually um, been in the project long enough to make an assessment on, every, on everything yet but I'm, I'm pretty excited that, um, that, that there will be a good return on investment. Having the tank level sensors live all the time means just a very quick glance I can check that all the water tanks are still full and um, you know, we haven't got any issues with our, our water infrastructure. I think the biggest labour saving is with our uh, checking water infrastructure so at a glance in the office we can we can check the, the tank levels and the and the trough levels without actually having to go out in the field and check them um, the other 
the other one would be our uh, over our Wi-Fi network. We've got cameras, so with, through those cameras we can monitor the river level. Um, uh, we've got a camera at the cattle yards, so we can monitor the water troughs that are close to the yards that aren't actually on a on a um, on a level sensor. So it, it actually means you've got to have a look with the camera, but it's far quicker to do that than to drive out there to check. I would say I've, I've learned a fair bit about technology in this in this pilot program. It's um, been a pretty steep learning curve. Um, so we've sort of been involved from selecting the technology right through the installation process and then using it. So yeah, yeah, learned quite a lot. Probably um, something that's quite exciting is is the weather stations and and just having all that data coming back live. You know where we've you, know, you rely on the on the bureau forecasts and then yeah you. Know, you uh, when it rains you, you have a bit of a guess how much rain we've had but now having having rain gauges spread right over the place we can look at our rainfall spread which has shown uh, that it's not as uniform as, as we've always thought I mean obviously this as this data comes in in the future we'll, we'll, we'll be able to paint a bit more accurate picture on that. Installation of the technology was basically done by the suppliers. Uh, we assisted with the Wi-Fi installation because we needed to put masts up on our sheds and because we already had some antennas and other equipment on our sheds uh, we got involved in that installation uh, just, so, just so that we could put our existing technology back up on the poles. So there was a bit of time doing that but we're very happy with the result that we've got now. Um, you know, we, can, we can pull our towers down quite easily to, to do any adjustments as required in the future. I haven't been collecting data for long enough yet to get the, f the full value of all the sensors but I'm pretty sure moisture monitoring is going to be invaluable to us going forward. I mean we're, we've had the luxury of, of a very wet winter while these uh, sensors have been installed so we're seeing um, pretty good results there as the moisture level rises. So going forward we're not always going to have wet winters and, and a, a wet spring like we're having now but it definitely would be putting more moisture monitoring sensors in. On the installation process, knowing what, what I know now, I think um, we definitely should have put more protection around the cabling on a few of the sensors. We've had issues with either hares or wallabies chewing the cables, so that was something we didn't really foresee, um, but we got onto that pretty quickly after the first one got chewed. Um, so yeah, that's definitely something that, that, that needs to be planned, particularly in the vineyard with the, the quantity of, of wildlife that comes in and their um, obviously taste for plastic. Before we launched into the pilot, um, we weren't really using much technology. Um, we've got some moisture monitoring, but that was all manual read. Uh, so that involved going out into the blocks and actually physically downloading the data from those um, from that moisture monitoring equipment. So it's um, been a long time since we've had a reliable weather station, so this was exciting to get all this, this technology installed. As part of the project, we have a single point dashboard. Uh, this was installed in particularly in our office because that's that's where we we um, work from most of the time uh, that single point dashboard collects all the data from all the sensors so it can collate uh, information coming in from all the suppliers who use different platforms for all their different technology so this dashboard can pull out all that together and then display it in one single format that we can then customize to our needs uh, the other thing it can do is uh, make reporting easier that we can pull data out of reports in any format that we like um, and the other thing we can set it up with various we can customize the screens to show to um, combine data from different suppliers on the one page for example rain gauges we can put all the rain gauge data on on one particular page uh, and then it also does playlists so we can customize what we want to display and that can be just continually scrolling through um, so at a glance you can just get all the relevant data as required. Well, I think we probably check the, the water levels at, at the moment the most. I mean we're not, we're not in our growing season yet so we're not checking continually any soil moisture or, or any data coming from the vines. But I'm quite sure when we're in the middle of the growing season that's what we'll be looking at very regularly. Another benefit we're seeing with the technology as far as um, or as well as labour saving is also peace of mind. You know knowing that all the infrastructure, you know, that our, that our stock have got adequate water. You, know, you can, if you can put that to rest in your mind, then we've got other, we've got plenty of time to be concentrating on other things, other more important things. As far as other producers starting out with this technology, um, I'd say, yeah, just just look at 
at, at uh, your relevant enterprise and then you know, what technology might fit. Obviously with livestock, monitoring water is critical for any operation that, that's running livestock. Um, and then for intensive agriculture like we have, um, yeah, they're very valuable to have accurate weather stations and um, yeah, all the moisture monitoring equipment as well.